I am so happy that you clicked on this video because not only am I going to be showing you everything that I eat today, but also we're going to be having a little sit down heart to heart mindset chat where we talk about how you can make the mindset shifts so that your actions are more aligned with the person that you want to be. And let's play everybody's favorite intro song now. Woo! Hello my honeys, it's Emmy. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Emmy. I'm a nutritionist and the creator of the Slim on Starch program where you work with me as well as a mindset coach and a nutrition coach to lose weight on a plant-based diet. If you're interested in that, just click the link in the down bar. What I have in front of me is my bowl of oats. Let me show you how I made it. I put on top of my oatmeal is ground flax seed, chia seeds, ground sunflower seeds, and cinnamon. And I keep this in the fridge, otherwise the flax seed will go rancid. I choose to make my oatmeal with water. You can absolutely make it with non-dairy milk if you prefer that. So before I have my bowl of oats, I want to chat. So you're probably watching this video because you want to get some meal ideas, you want to get inspired, you want to get motivated so that you too can live or continue to live a whole food plant-based lifestyle or transition toward it. Either that or you just think I'm hilarious and charming. And I can't blame you if that's the case. I, I wholeheartedly agree. When I approach meal time and it's time for me to eat and I feel hunger, it all comes from a place of gratitude first. With getting a hunger signal, I am so grateful for getting a hunger signal. Hunger is a sign of health. Healthy people feel hungry. When people are sick or if they're very sick with cancer, for instance, they completely lose their appetite because the body doesn't want to spend energy on digestion and thus won't send us any hunger cues. I, you know, I was sick last year and with the you know what and I didn't have hunger cues and I was so excited when my hunger cues came back because that was a sign of health and how amazing that my body trusts me enough to communicate with me that it's hungry. So right from the get go, when the hunger begins, I'm so grateful. The sec my Whole Foods order is here for what I'm going to be eating later. The doorbell went off. <laughs> Anyway, you'll see that later. So back to what I was saying. Starts right with gratitude. When I get hungry, I'm grateful that I feel hungry and I have a healthy body that's sending me a hunger signal. Then I get to make a meal that is nourishing, that's gonna support my health, my longevity, that's going to allow me to set a good example for others around me, that's gonna make me feel energized, it's gonna make me feel satisfied, it's gonna help my skin glow, it's gonna help my hair grow, it's gonna help me run fast. Not only that, 
but I'm grateful to have the knowledge of the diet that's going to get me there. I'm so grateful that I was able to watch the Netflix documentaries and to do the research and to become certified as a health coach and in nutrition. I'm so grateful that I have this knowledge. And for you watching this video too, you should be grateful that you landed on the channel of the great. But truly, you don't have to eat this way you get to eat this way. What a blessing. Thank God we are not living in the time where people think that the, you know, the Atkins craze or, you know, low carb is the way to go. Thank God we have access to all of these materials, all these free materials on YouTube too, to learn about what truly is the healthiest way to eat. So first I get a hunger signal. Second off, I have access to all of this healthy food. Whole Foods just delivered the next meal that I'm going to eat to my door and ring the doorbell to let me know that it was there. And I have the knowledge to be able to build a healthy meal. That I've won the lottery. I don't need anything else. That to me is I'm the luckiest girl in the world. So if you're ever like, oh, I have to eat this healthy food, this sucks, everybody else is eating the other stuff, you don't have to eat this way, you get to eat this way. And how lucky you are to have the knowledge and resources to be able to build these beautiful bowls that are going to keep you healthy in the long term. And I say this not to berate you if your thinking is not aligned with this method of thinking, truly. Don't say, oh, there she goes, you know, make me feel bad for thinking the way that I'm thinking. No, because what I believe is that you can change your thinking. And if you're not eating or if you're not thinking this way, you can actively start to have these thoughts and practice that replacement of instead of I have to eat this way, I get to eat this way. You can start that today. And if you think, well, I just don't think that way. My brain just doesn't think that way. I'm never going to think that way. I never have th thought that way. I, that, you know, I've always been this person and I'm never going to be that person. I'm never going to have the mindset that you have. I say this with love, enough. Enough with thinking that your past is a life sentence and that people cannot change. I'm not going to live in an alternate universe where people can't change. I wholeheartedly believe that people have the ability to change now more than ever. You'll hear people say, you know, people can't change. People pretty much are who they are. Yeah, maybe when we didn't have all of the resources that we have now, but now you can watch a video on how to change your mindset. Back in the 1800s, you didn't have access to that kind of stuff. Now we have access to be able to learn how to change our mindset. And mental health is at the forefront of what you see in terms of the health movement. It's actually paying attention to mental health and changing our thoughts and changing the way that we think and how we feel about ourselves. So I can appreciate that you're living, quote unquote, in the universe where you can't change and who you are is who you're always going to be. I can appreciate that you're there, but I'm not going to set up shop in there with you. I'm going to transition you into reality and my reality and the reality we're going to create for you, which is you can change. And guess what? You can change today, right now, in this moment. You could change overnight if you wanted to. There's a concept of acting as if. And this concept talks about how whoever it is that you want to be, you can start being that person right this minute. Act as if you're already that person. Because, you know, I got to give you a tough pill to swallow here. You're not going to just naturally grow out of the person that you are now, and you're not going to just naturally over time grow into the person that you want to be, you have to actively make this change through action and you gotta start right this second. What this means is going to look different for different people. Maybe it means that you take out a bowl of oats right now and you have a bowl of oatmeal. And by the way, if you're nervous about the fact that this is getting cold, it's not, it's steaming hot still, so I'm letting it cool down and having a conversation with you while I let that happen. Maybe it means that you finally sign up to work with me and you actually hit submit this time and you don't just fill out the application, get to the bottom and go, I don't think I can do this. Maybe it means that you actually hit that submit button. Maybe it means you go on, you put on your sneakers and you go out for a walk right now. Maybe it means that you place your Whole Foods order so that Amazon can deliver it to your front door. 
Whatever it means to you, identify what action you are going to take and take it today. If you don't start today, you're not going to start tomorrow. And all we really have is this moment. All we have is today. I'm gonna eat my oatmeal and I am going to, after this, show you what I got from Whole Foods. We're going out, my significant other and I are going out tonight with, we're going out on a double date and we're getting Mexican food. And I love Mexican food. So I'll talk to you about that a little bit later. But for now, I'm gonna eat my oatmeal and I will see you for Whole Foods later. Bye. A little bit later, I had my two favorite fruits in the world, apple and red grapes. Amazon for sponsoring. No, I'm just kidding. Wouldn't that be sick though? I, they, it's just, no, that didn't happen. So I got my Whole Foods Amazon order and let's, let's see what I got. All right. So the first thing, of course, my Papu's falafel. I love these guys. I've been on a salad kick recently, like a bowl salad, very much loving my bowls and salads in the summer. And these are amazing because they don't have any oil added to them where normally falafels are going to be deep fried, but I am obsessed with these guys. So I got these. And apparently that needed an entire bag. You know, I was wondering, if there's any way to request, because I, I don't want all these bags, you know? I wish I could somehow have my reusable bags, but also get delivery. Do we have any solution to this? And then inside bag number two, I wanted to try out shelf stable tofu. The, the reason being, if I'm ever traveling, I just want to kind of see what would happen if I brought this kind of tofu with me, one that doesn't have to be refrigerated. So I'm going to be making a salad later today and I got the shelf stable tofu, which I've never had before. I've always had refrigerated tofu. But now that I look at this, this actually has soy protein isolate in it, which I am not a fan of, but okay. So now I kind of have my answer. And this is very low in calcium. All right, I'm gonna use this, but I'm definitely gonna go back to the refrigerated tofu because soy protein isolate is not something that I'm a huge fan of. Next, okay. We all know that I'm a minimalist, right? I have now, my kitchen is now down to two drawers. I have two drawers that I use for everything. Every other cabinet and draw in my kitchen, there's absolutely nothing in it. And all of this to say, I don't wanna get a lemon squeezer because I don't wanna have another appliance in my house, but lemons are really hard to squeeze if you don't have a tool to do so. So I got myself some of this lemon juice and I wanna show you something because I know I'm, I, I would have this question as well, and so I wanna give you some insight here. So let's look at the ingredients list on here. And as you can see, there is, you know, it's water, it's the juice of a lemon, and then you can see it says essential lemon oil. And so you might think, oh no, is this an oil-free product? Is this something that I have to, I, I can't have this because there's oil in it. Essential oil is going to be different from the processed cooking vegetable oils that we're, that we're staying away from. So if you see that something, something has peppermint oil or lemon oil or orange peel oil, that is not the same as if something has canola oil or coconut oil or olive oil. This is an oil of essence. So they're doing it to give the smell and the taste. Not, there's not going to be substantial fat in here. So I wanted to give that disclaimer and, and help you. And this is going to be a million times easier than me having lemons. They dry out. I have to have another appliance in my house. Like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. 
I don't even think they list, there's not even nutrition facts on here, so it can't be substantial in calories. Oh, they gave me two of them. Did I order two of them? Oh, that was an accident on my end if I did. Did I though, or did I get a free one? Oh, no, I accidentally bought two of them. That's on me, that's on me. Then I just got, oh, and please be ripe, an avocado. I think this is actually ripe. So it is my lucky day. The avocado is ripe, the sun is shining, the birds are singing, I'm going on a double date and getting Mexican food tonight. I mean, could life be any better? They did not, so this is, a, this is like my one thing where I'm like, come on Whole Foods, can you get it together on this one? They don't have Japanese sweet potatoes on the online order, but they always have them in store. And when you select a Hannah yam, it says, if you don't want the Hannah yam, is a Japanese sweet potato okay? <laughs> I don't want the Hannah yam, I want the Japanese sweet potato. And so I texted Amazon, the delivery person was like, can you get me a Japanese sweet potato instead? And I don't know what they ended up getting. Oh, they got the Hannah yam, not the end of the world. I do prefer the Japanese sweet potato if I'm making a salad. These are freaking delicious. They taste like honey nut Cheerios when you put cinnamon on them. But if I am going to be making a salad, which I am going to be making later, the Japanese sweet potato is my preference, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. This definitely needs a washing though.
love when you get the perfect right when I had the perfect bite of salad it fell right out from right right between my fingertips the perfect bite of salad that has every topping in it I don't have that at the moment but isn't that the best <laughs> So we are going out on a double date tonight and we're going to Mexican. I'm gonna pull up the menu and we're gonna talk about what, what I'm gonna get here. All right, so for Mexican, I always go down to the sides. This place actually has really great sides. So most beans at Mexican restaurants are made with animal products. Unfortunately, they're made with pork or they're made with um, lard and so you can ask them if they have any vegetarian ones or any vegan ones and this place does they have vegetarian black beans so I think I'm going to get a side of vegetarian black beans avocado pickled veg and then I will get a side of tortillas they have written that they have a side of flour tortillas but I think I'm just gonna ask for corn let me look at the rest of their menu and see if they have corn tortillas you know what, I'm pretty sure they do because they say that they make their chips in-house. Let's see here. Corn tortilla chips. So I would think that they have corn tortillas. And if they don't, then I'll just have a bunch of sides. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna make my own tacos tonight. Then I headed over to my boyfriend's and brought along stuff to make a little salad before going to dinner. So I have chopped romaine and then I have seasoned rice and the other half of the sweet potato, some avocado, and then I also brought some tofu. And the tofu I just marinated in liquid aminos and whatever spices I had in my cabinet. To be honest, they're not labeled, so I just smelled them. And if they smelled good, I added them and put that in the air fryer along with some more falafel, 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. And then at dinner, I was able to get the vegetarian black beans, which were refried, which I was so excited about because refried beans are the best. And I got guacamole, salsa, pickled vegetables, and then I also got a side of corn tortillas to make some tacos. All right, doing my outro. I love you, honeys. If you're still watching, comment tortillas because I love Mexican food and I love corn tortillas. And I will see you guys in the next one. Woo!